With the adoption of the Next Generation Science Standards, incorporating scientific inquiry into classroom activities has become a necessity. To guide students through the scientific process, we have found no better tool than inquiry boards. Inquiry boards guide students through making observations, asking questions, forming a prediction, planning an investigation, collecting data, and graphing results, all by focusing on the fundamental role of variables in the scientific process. Let's look at an example of inquiry boards in action. Suppose we want to do an experiment to investigate what makes a plant grow. We can brainstorm ideas using the first inquiry board. We'll start by writing down things that we could change that might affect plant growth, like the amount of water, the amount of light, the type of soil we use, whether we give the plants fertilizer, and temperature. Then we'll write down things that we could measure or observe about plant growth, like plant height or any other number of other factors. Once we've done that, we can use our next inquiry board to choose our variables and set up our experiment. The variable that we will choose to change is the amount of water. This will be our independent variable. We'll choose to measure the plant height, which will be our dependent variable. Notice that the inquiry boards only allow you to choose one variable to change and one variable to measure. All the other variables have to be kept constant during the experiment. We'll use the next inquiry board to take the variables that we've chosen to ask our scientific question. When I change or vary water, what will happen to plant height? With the next inquiry board, we'll draw using a graph and then write out in words our hypothesis. We're predicting in our experiment that plants that get more water will grow taller. With the next inquiry board, we can structure our data table, which we've shown here already filled out. Then we can use the data we've collected with our next inquiry board to draw a results graph. In this experiment, we found that plants that were given more water were able to grow taller. As a final step, we can now compare our results to our original hypothesis using the inquiry boards we've created. We think inquiry boards are an incredibly powerful tool to use in your classroom. They are particularly useful when teaching the concept of variables to students because they allow students to visualize the independent and dependent variable and their role in each part of the scientific process. Inquiry boards can also be used to help students generate original project ideas for classroom investigations or for science fair projects. During an investigation, inquiry boards help students to generate and explain hypotheses. They also help them to compare their results to their hypotheses once their project is finished. Finally, inquiry boards provide a way to help support students' development and understanding of all eight NGSS practices. We wish you the best of luck using inquiry boards in your classroom.